Hello and what's up guys? In the previous video, I have uh, talked about the uh, launch file and I showed you how to activate multiple Rust2 nodes at the same time. Now in this video, I will show you how to record data and the playback. And this is uh, very useful if you want to uh, share some data with other Rust2 users or if you want to replace some simulation results. Uh, so I advise you to watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification button to stay updated. So let's start. Okay, so I have a prepared a file here. Now, in order to record and play back data, I will use a tool called the Rust2 bag. So obviously before using it, you have to install it. So I will use the following command and actually I have included it in the description down below. Now, uh, you need to install these three packages, as you can see, and enter your password. I have already installed these packages, so I will skip that. Now, uh, in order to demonstrate uh, the usage of Rust2Bag, I will use the Turtlesome package, and I have used this package in the previous videos, so if you didn't watch them, please go ahead and do it right now. So I will uh, first trust, uh, run the uh, turtle nod. And let me open up another window in order to run the teleoperation key. Plus to run turtle sim turtle teleop key in order to control my turtle using, of course, my keyboard. Uh, so right now uh, I have a list of topics that are active. So let me show them to you using topic list. Now for this tutorial, I will focus, I will focus on two topics mainly. The turtle pause that is recording the position of the turtle right here in this window. And I will focus on the CMD valve, uh, which is controlling the motion of my turtle from my keyboard. Now let, let me open up another window. And in order to record data using the bag, uh, tool I will use Rust2 bag record actually I want to store my file in a directory so actually I have created a directory here called the storage so let me go there cd desktop storage now we are here now we can use our Rust2 bag command and record and of course, you need to specify the name of the topics that you want to record. And you can like record the data from multiple topics at the same time using one command. Now, you have the option to name your file uh, using the argument O, which stands for output. Uh, I will call it dataset1. And let me copy paste the names of the topics. Make sure to separate them by a space. And here we go. Now, what I will do is that I'm going to control the uh, motion of my turtle using my teleoperation key, and I will create a certain pattern. And then, uh, I and meanwhile, I will record this data uh, using my Rust2 bag. And later on, I will play it back in order to uh, like recreate the same pattern of motion. So let me go ahead and press enter. Now, as you can see, the storage action has been initiated. Now, let me like go to this window. So I have created a triangular path. Let me stop the storage using control C and I want you to notice this one thing while I replay 
this motion that the timing uh, has been stored as well as the action. So you will see that uh, once I try to replay my data, it will take some time because once I have initiated the storage, I, it took me some time to begin my action. So this is something to note. Now, the way to replay it is actually to use uh, ROS2 back. And actually, before playing it, let me show you what I have stored, what kind of files. So I will use ROS2 bag info, and I will specify the name of my file, dataset1. Actually, you can find it right here on the desktop inside the storage directory. So you'll see this is dataset1. And actually, it is a directory. Uh, it uh, includes like some files in it. And I will show you some information about these uh, this type of files. So as you can see, uh, the storage of this type of files is actually an uh, SQLite 3 uh, database. Uh, so in order to open it, you have to use certain tools. I will not go through this right now in this video. Uh, I'm just like showing you some information. As you can see here, we have two topics. The data has been recorded from two, uh, from two topics, the turtle one CMD val and the turtle one pause. And actually, you can see also the uh, counting of uh, the data. So for the turtle CMD val, this is like the number of strikes in, in, uh, on my keyboard. Uh, I hit like five buttons. And here you will have 1,340. And this is the number of the times the system has stored the position of the turtle. Uh, now, after like explaining about that, let me uh, replay my uh, motion. So I will use ROS2, bag, play, and I will specify the full path for my file. In this case, I will use dataset1 since I'm already in the storage directory. And notice the window in here. As you can see, it will take some time to initiate the action, as I have told you before. And then it will move in a triangular pattern, just like it did at the beginning. So this is it, guys. I have showed you how to use the Rust2 bag in order to record some data and play it back. So I hope you find you found it useful uh, and in the next video I will begin uh, developing inside the Rust2 ecosystem or environment. Uh, so stay tuned and I hope to see you later on.